for me, I think there's a difference between commitment and total commitment. You know, commitment says, hey, I'll get my license, I'll buy some leads, I'll go through the scripts. Total commitment says you're either gonna find me at the top of the mountain or dead on the side. What were the results after your first full month? I, 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 it was, I wrote just over 103,000 submitted. 103,000. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was crazy. Shut up. Uh, yeah. Um, 103,000. Some um, people are hoping to do that all year. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Life Insurance Academy podcast. And we've got another special on location episode coming to you from Dallas, Texas, at the SWAT event here in Dallas uh, with Nate Offers Events Strategic Wealth Accumulation Tactics, the Mission Possible event. And we've got a very special guest today that you guys get to hear. I'm super excited to bring this guy to you. Uh, this guy's only been in the business for like about six months or so. And uh, he is changing his life and tearing this industry up. And I can't wait for you to meet him. Josh Wiles, welcome to the Life Insurance Academy podcast, man. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. It's an honor. Yeah, it's good yeah. to have you. Dude, tell us a little bit about your background and uh, how you ended up in this industry. Man, um, it's funny. I, I even say this on my presentations. I'm probably one of the most unlikely insurance agents around. Yeah, you don't look like the like the you know the typical guy with a briefcase and patches on his uh, tweed jacket with a you know <laughs> you don't look like that guy. Yeah, yeah. So, um I my my background, I was um uh, started out kind of my adult career um oh. as a police officer. Okay. And I was a cop for about 5 years, you know. A lot of police officers in my family, by the way, from yeah. back in Canada. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah. mean, in my extended family. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I have a high regard, man, for, for what you guys do. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, I did not, I definitely wasn't meant to be a cop. I didn't really enjoy it. I was making no money. I was yeah. broke. Um, some, uh, a buddy of mine introduced me to direct sales, you know, network marketing. And um, I kind of shifted into that. And, and that, was, that was a roller coaster because it's like, you can do really well. Mm -hmm. And I was doing pretty well. But I mean, at the drop of a hat overnight, you know, your entire income, everything can just be taken away. It can go away, uh, especially nowadays with FTC and, and product regulations and things like that. So um, once again, for about the third time in, in the last decade, I found myself from the top of the mountain to the very bottom under the mountain because the mountain just disappeared. And so you had you had success, significant success in that industry. I did, yes, sir. So what kind of what does that look like? Give some context to the people who are listening. Um, you know, m multiple six figures uh, from okay. home. You know, um, like a network of how big? Uh, my biggest network I built was about forty thousand people in seven 40, countries. Forty thousand people. Mm -hmm. And they're what? What are they? What, what's the main products? We were selling skincare. Skincare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forty thousand people yeah, who the, became the, distributors. Yeah. Wow. The, the only thing I knew about skincare was that lipstick tastes good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. That's an impressive feat. It was good. What yeah. happened? Um, just things. Things happened in the company. Things were shifting. They were going a different direction. I, I, I didn't want to be a part of it anymore. So, I ended up leaving and. I didn't get to keep my book of business like I was promised, and I was, you know, kind of forced to shift. And Nate and I kind of go way back in that space. Okay. And you know, we had kind of reconnected over the last year or so, and I kind of saw what he was doing over here at, at, with SWAT and everything. Yeah. And um, I was very reluctant. You know, honestly, I was like, man, the last thing I want to do is go sell insurance. And what he shared with me was, we, we're kind of at a pivotal point in the space to where. We've got, uh, you know, a hundred plus year old industry mm -hmm. that's trillions of dollars. Yes. But now we're in a situation to where we we have a brand new first movers advantage with virtual. Yeah. You know, because of COVID because and the of, pandemic. Because pandemic. of COVID and the pandemic, yeah. you know, now it's like everybody knows what a Zoom is. You know, people are pe people are zooming into school. People are zooming into work meetings. More, you know, you call up American Airlines and you hear the lady's dog in the background barking or their kids crying across the hallway because everyone was working from home. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, you know, hey, I, you know, if it's virtual, I don't have to leave my house and, and drive all over creation and 
try to meet with people. Sure. I can do that. I've been doing virtual sales for a decade. Yeah. So I can do that. And, you know, sure enough, I, um, I got excited about it. You know, yep. hearing the stories, you know, the, the, the stay-at-home mom whose husband was in an accident, who needed to make some money for her family, and now yeah. she's rocking a six-figure income. I was like, man, I can, I can, I can get a hold of that. Yeah. And um, so I did. I, I, I put my head down. I, I locked in and got licensed. And here I am. Boom. Yeah. So what uh, what was your what was your first month in the business like? Chaotic, <laughs> but in a good how way. How long? How many how many months you've been in the business? I started January uh, 24th. So the end of January. So, so literally like about five, four, months. four and a half. Yeah. Four and a half months so far. Yeah. yeah. You're so. four and a half months in and you're on the podcast. Something's going on. <laughs> ah, wow. You know, um, again, it's, it's an honor. Um, you know, I think, I, I, I think with anything in life that, that you want to do something with or make something of, you got to give it your all, okay. you know? And for me, I think there's a difference between commitment and total commitment. You know, commitment says, Hey, I'll get my license. I'll buy some leads. I'll go through the scripts. Total commitment for me is what I knew I needed. And that total commitment was completely cutting everything out and just getting totally focused, tunnel vision. Total commitment says you're either going to find me at the top of the mountain or dead on the side. And so my first 30, you know, for the first month, my first 30 days, um, I, I, immediately I had to fund my business. So I spent as, I, I bought as many leads as I could get. You know, and, and that's, the, that's the best part about this is I get to buy leads. Yeah. I can buy people to want to talk to me. That's right. So, you know, for me, I was buying as many leads as I could get a hold of. Um, I was spending every moment that I possibly could dialing, you mm -hmm. know, booking appointments. And, um, and then I'd, I'd get on the appointments and I kept it super simple. You know, we've got a really cool system that yeah, fairly simple, um, half hour to, you know, if, if it's, if it's, one or two apps, I can knock it out in a half hour. If it's if it's more, maybe forty five minutes, depending on how many questions you have. Yeah. And I was running those back to back to back to back as often as I possibly could. People would ask me, "Hey, Josh, when are you dialing?" I'll say, "As long as I got air in my lungs, I'm making dials, baby." You know. Yes. Just to get it off the ground and get it going because I have a wife and kids to take care of. Tell me about that. What What was the motivation behind that intensity in that first thirty days? Oh, my family. Absolutely. Tell me about your family. Absolutely. My wife um, is, is the most amazing woman in the world. I, I, you know, I don't need her to be a part of the business because I couldn't do what I do if she didn't do everything else. Yeah. And she homeschools our kids. And, and it's just, I mean, they're my world. You two know? girls. Two daughters. Yeah. Right. I resonate with that. Three girls. Yeah, that's right. You got right. three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my two girls. and um, How old are they? 14 and 13. My youngest okay. just turned 13. All right. Yeah, That's, this, this next few years are going to be an interesting age yeah. for parenting for you guys. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I wish there was a book on that one. <laughs> yeah, I probably can give you some tips. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that offline. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. But my family, my, my wife and kids are 100% driving factor for yeah. sure. Yeah. What else was the big motivator? You said that business went apart. You obviously had a financial need. Yeah, you were trying I mean, to overcome some things. What, what, was the, what was the big impetus? You know, I mean... Man, when I when when I was a police officer, I was on welfare. You know, I was making thirty thousand dollars a year was my salary when I started. Five years later, with a wife and two kids, I was still only making thirty grand a year. So that's I mean, that gets you that that debit card with the American flag on it that says yeah. EBT across the top. And that's where I was at. And, you know, the direct sales, you know, virtual sales, that space changed my life. I went from making thirty grand a year to thirty grand a month relatively quick. Mm. And when that all gets taken away from you, there's no way I was going to go back to that, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I had, I had a huge drive to make sure I showed up and delivered for my family to show them, you know, what was keep us in, in a better space. How important was it for you to have a mentor coaching you through that, uh, that time? And even until now, I mean, you've only been in the business for four months. How, how important is it for you to stay connected to a system and a mentor through that process and not try to figure out how to do everything yourself. It's invaluable. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's invaluable. It's ineffable. There's, there's, there's no words to put into, there's not enough words to put in perspective how valuable it is, Roger. It's, um, it's, it, I couldn't have done it without it. You know, you, what, what do they say? It's funny. John Maxwell says, you know, if you've got a dream that you can accomplish by yourself, 
Well, that may, that ain't much of a dream, is it? That's right. So you got to have a system. You got to have a support, um, a backbone, some type of structure that you can plug into and learn from. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, Einstein said it. I wish I had, but Einstein said that you know, if I if, if I want to go to the moon, I'd like to go there with someone who's already been. Yeah. And so I think you know, having a mentor is essential, more than essential. Having a support system, a training structure, something in place like like what what you have with this you know the yeah. podcast the system i mean the training i mean it's invaluable yeah what uh, what were your results at the end of the, your first full month <sighs> let's talk about that because i've heard the story yeah i actually was in conversation with nate while you were going through that first month yeah and uh, we had plenty of conversations so i was hearing about this up and coming guy josh wiles getting into the business and doing some cool things what were the result after your first full month I, 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 it was, I wrote just over 103,000 submitted. 103,000. Yeah. yeah, it was, it was crazy. Shut up. Uh, yeah. Um, 103,000. Some um, people are hoping to do that all year. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. I think, I mean, you know, I, I started at the bottom of the comp plan, you know, with the deal. And um, I think when it was all said and done, uh, commission wise was uh, just under 40 grand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure all of that didn't issue pay. You probably made some mistakes. You probably had some withdrawals. Yeah, yeah, you I had, had some, some you know, I had some declines. I, yeah. I think, I yeah. think out of the hundred and three thousand, I think maybe fifty six issue paid. Yeah, which was still strong. I wasn't complaining about that. Yes. you know, um, but it was, it was. Fa I mean, honestly, man, this this industry, I, it's like a part of me says, man, I wish I would have known about this sooner, bro. Yeah, you know? I know, because, I mean, I, I, you mean to tell me, like, can I, you imagine putting forty thousand people in this business? Oh, bro! <laughs> it, it'd be a, it, that's my next Let's mission. Put 4, that's in. where I'm going Let's next. Put 400 you know, four, yeah, four hundred, four thousand. That's right. Shoot, give me forty. I mean, at the power of this thing yes. is insane. There's nothing like it, mm -hmm. man. In my experience, there's nothing like it. Forty good, strong writers in this business working with you is easily a ten million plus plus business. Easily, yeah. easily, easily. Yeah. And at the rate you're going, if you were just able to duplicate that, you only need 10. Right, right. <laughs> you only need 10. Yeah. But you get 40, you know, people that are in it and, and are, you know, become consistent with their production. And they don't, you know, they may not have the same level of urgency or, I mean, I heard that a TV came off your wall for something. What's that? What's that about? Yeah. Well, so I, I think it, I, I think at some point in, you know, along the is weekend, that just war already? Is that like, what's happening? With no, that? that's 100% accurate, but that was, you know, that was almost a decade ago okay. when that happened to get into I see. the, you know, direct sales network marketing space. You know, it, 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 it you didn't have to go and get licensed, right? Yeah, yeah. But you did have to spend five or six, $700 on a product pack to get yeah. into a deal like that. So that's where that came from. I okay. think, I think at some point it just got twisted yeah. to get into network marketing. I sold the TV on my wall Yeah. Um, here. You know, I, I had a few hundred bucks to, to scrap together for leads and the rest I figured out, but yeah. 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 I think, you know, I, I tell people all the time, broke, desperate, struggling. Those are all great place, great places to be from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? What do you, what would you say to someone who's looking at the business for the first time? They're hearing your energy. They see your passion. Mm -hmm. They see the hair. They see the tats. They see the, the tight shirt that I can't rock anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, they're like, this dude doesn't look like a normal insurance guy. MLM background, dad of two girls, teenagers, mm -hmm. started out with no experience, made, you know, deposited over 54 grand in his first full month in the business. I mean, some people work all year for that, Josh. What are you saying to those people about the opportunity that exists in this space? Man, I think, um, I, I think we live in a time, uh, I think we live in a point in time that's never gonna be recreated again you can be first once, you know? And right now in this industry, we're talking, like I said, over a hundred year old industry, trillions of dollars a year goes through it. Um, we, we, we live in a space, man, where now's the time. Now's the time to get after it, you know? Mm -hmm. Find you somebody that, 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 you can, that you can vibe with. Find you somebody that has what you want. Mm -hmm. Find you somebody that has, has been where you want to go, you know, lock into something like this and like what Cody's doing with 8%, what Nate's doing with SWAT. I mean, 
find somebody like that and grab them by the coattail like I did with Nate, you know, and like your students do with you yeah. and ride that thing to the moon, baby. I mean, because now is the time. Yeah. You know, we're only going to have this first mover's advantage in the virtual space for a short period of time, and then it's going to be gone. Then everybody's going to be doing it. That's right. You know, everybody, they're going to have to increase the internet waves. As many Zooms are going to be going on in the country with all the agents, you know? Yeah. And so I think now would be the time. Get your questions answered. Find you something good to plug into and get after it. Yeah. What um, if, final thoughts as we wrap up here? We're at this event, mm -hmm. SWAT, high energy, all kinds of different speakers. What's one of the biggest takeaways uh, that you've gotten from this event so far oh, man. that's impacted you? Maybe some impactful moments that you've had, something that's resonated with you. And what would you say about people considering coming to an event to get exposure and what that can do for them to continually propel their business forward by attending networking events like this? For me, man, it's it, it it's been the stories. I mean, I mean, I, I know you you know with your experience in life, and probably everybody you know that watches this um, and follow you. You know, we all go through the the crap, you know. Mm -hmm. But none of our stories are unique. None of them all are. You know, none of them are. We we all we've all gone through it on some level or another. But to be able to 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 sit in the crowd and and to be poured into by people who have not just achieved and gone to where we want to be, but have also gone through all of the same crap that we go through. Mm -hmm. It is so inspi inspiring and so empowering. It's like, man, I'm going to leave this event in 10 foot tall and bulletproof. I'm going to go have another $100,000 a month, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I can say that to me, that is the most important thing about being at these events is I learned a long time ago that if you don't change your environment, you associate with what's in it. That's right. At the end of the day, that's what it is. And we are shaped by our, by our environment. And to, you got to get around other people to change your environment, you know? And that, I think you're doing yourself a, a disservice if you don't plug into something like this, get yeah. to these events. What does, what does Nate's fingerprint on this event? How is this a unique event for you? What have you what have you seen here that's like moves the needle like in a different direction oh, like I mean just the 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 collective energy of all of the personalities and all of the successes and all of the the players you know in the game you know like you you have your own agency Nate's got his own agency Campert's doing his own company uh, Fournier's got his own IMO you know you got all of these people you know that technically should be considered foes, you know, competitors, you know, Correct. but you get them all together in the same space that all want the same desired result to protect families and help change lives. And it is, it's just been such a beautiful melting pot of passion, energy, love. And it, it, bro, it's just, it, it's amazing. It's life changing. Cool, For me, man. it's, it's all of that. I don't think we could have wrapped any better than that, right? I think Nate will be proud with that, uh, with that description. Good. Brother, it's been a pleasure having you on the podcast. I can't wait to watch your story. I know you're bringing some people on in the business. you got some mm -hmm. people in pre-licensing. There's people at this event with you yes. this week. You believe in this enough to invite other people in. 100%. How can people connect with you? You can find me on Facebook, um, Instagram, Josh Wiles, W-Y as in yellow, right. L-E-S. Um, yeah, shoot me a message. Reach out to me. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Connect with him. If you feel that passion, if you connected with anything Josh said today, reach out to him. I'm sure he can probably teach you a thing or two. Thank you so Thanks, much man, for having me. Thanks, man, so much for being on the show. And thank you guys for being on this special edition of the Life Insurance Academy podcast.